when I was growing up, I was painfully aware that I was different. I didn't play sport, excluded from the cool crowd, and taunted, bullied, and bashed for no particular reason. I remember my primary school headmaster stated to my parents, don't worry about Jamal, he probably won't achieve too much in life. Little did they know that this would be my driving force to overcome my adversity. I certainly love playing drums, uh, been a part of my life since a very young age. This also helped me get into a mainstream high school with me being a drummer. With my ten, 10 fingers, I love playing the drums to my first band called 5150. <laughs> I love teaching art. I have students here in Berry and also in Adelaide. The tiny, tight little swirls. Yes, yes. So basically we're just going to create a bit of a blur line there and then we're going to go back and forth just to sort of make it a little bit more um, three-dimensional. And what have you thought about for around this area here? Put some sheep on me. Yeah, just silhouetted in that thing a little bit dilapidated. Yeah, yeah. So I've left some lanes off the window, so I've got yeah. to be even closer. Even higher. Yep. Right. Yep. I felt really isolated, so I turned to the world inside my head. I became very, very absorbed into all things military. These take roughly about four hours to make and all the details and I have to study the architecture of the area. So I get all the uh, late 19th century environment set in the World War I battlefield, otherwise it just doesn't look right at all. It's got to be anatomically correct. The world beyond 3D. One moment far off into the future and the next far off into the past. Everyone nearly had a heart attack when I decided to take up home carpentry. Yeah, I know I make a mess, uh, and every time I'm cooking at mum's place, he tries to kick me out of the kitchen. I care about my food because it brings happiness and great times with friends. I love cooking with beer. Occasionally I put it in the food, but also a little bit for me first. And a little in the food. I'd love to work in a brewery, but unfortunately this is not an option. Arch is my world and it gives me identity. It allows me to escape the limitations of my disability. Jamal, I think it's absolutely fantastic how much you are able to do with your ten fingers. What is perception of other people about your disability? Well, quite interesting at times. I was talking to a class about disability and I asked the group what they thought was wrong with me and one of the students came back with, I was mentally retarded, straight out like that. So, but that's okay, I asked for it, honestly. I am legally blind. My right eye is artificial. And my left eye only has 6.4% of peripheral vision. Jamal, do you have any message to people out there about their ability? I love what I do and I'm passionate about my work. Focus on your ability not what other people tell you you can do.